was working in the forest when he heard the sounds of hunting. Suddenly a hare ran into the clearing and without thinking the woodcutter picked it up and hid it under his coat. When the hunters had gone he let the hare go. Cutter was working in the forest when he heard the sounds of hunting. Suddenly a hare ran into the clearing and without thinking the woodcutter picked it up and hid it under his coat. When the hunters had gone, he let the hare go. That evening, as he was sitting down with his wife to eat, a fairy suddenly appeared in the room. She explained that during the day she took on the form of a hare, but at night she turned back into her true shape. That afternoon, the woodcutter had rescued her from the hunters, and as a reward, she was giving him three wishes. Then she disappeared. The man and his wife started to argue. She thought that the first wish should be used to ask for a coach full of white chicks, white horses. But he thought white horses would get money too easily and it would be more sensible to have six black horses. They argued and argued and argued. At last, the woodcutter, hearing his tummy rumble, said, It was too late to take his words back and suddenly there on the plate in front of him was a long black sausage thing. It wasn't too much of a disaster they thought as they still had two wishes left. They started arguing about whether to wish for a golden palace or a strong castle. Which do you think would be the best place to live in? They argued and argued and argued until, at last, the woodcutter got so cross he shouted You silly old woman, I wish that my pudding was stuck to your nose! As soon as he said this, the greasy black sausage flew in the air and splat! Stuck itself in the middle of her face! She was not very pleased. What could they do? He tried to pull it off, but it was stuck fast. He tried to cut it off with a knife and fork. He promised her a cloth made out of gold drape to put over it. In the end, the woodcutter had no choice. He had to use his last wish to ask his wife for an ordinary nose back. The black pudding dropped onto the plate and they ate it for supper. And that's all they got for their three magic wishes. In the story, we were talking about thankfulness and the woodcutter was very thankful to the fairy for granting him three wishes and the fairy was very thankful because the woodcutter saved her when she was the hare. What is something that you are thankful for? Who would like to put their hands up and share with the rest of the class something that they are thankful for? Jack? I'm thankful for my baby sister Ellen. Beautifully answered, well done. Scarlet? Thank you.